Good morning. Today is November, November 10th. It is the day before Veterans Day. My sisters came this weekend. We had such a fun time. They're gone. Yesterday I was moping around a little bit, so today I have to get down to business and clean. I have a lot of laundry to do. Today is also oddly like 75 degrees in Virginia. So I would love to sneak in a walk because it's supposed to start raining the next few days and get cold, but we'll see. We'll see. I also want to make pasta sauce, my quick pasta sauce. I've made that before, but I'm gonna make that because I have zucchini that I want to make zoodles in, and I also have a ton of spaghetti squash, so I need to make some pasta sauce. I'm not doing a really big batch, just enough probably for like two dinners. Oh, I finally used up all those bananas we got at Costco. I didn't actually use all of them. He didn't eat them as fast as I thought he was going to, so I just peeled them all, put them on a sheet pan, put them in the freezer till they froze, and then put them in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> He's literally been having like banana pancakes like every day, right? But you like them. <laughs> he is also getting so mobile. I think so. I think he's gonna start calling soon. He was, he's been acting kind of weird for him. So yesterday he took two 90 minute to almost two hour naps, which is rare for him. It's usually like more like 30, 45 minutes. And then last night he was out. Like I didn't even get to feed him on both sides. I actually had to pump last night for the first time in forever because he wouldn't even nurse on the one side. He was just out. So I don't know if he was just pooped out from seeing his aunts. Were you pooped out from seeing your aunts? Or I think he's going through like a development milestone where he's gonna start crawling. But yes, I think today I'm just going to clean, make pasta sauce, what else? Try to squeeze in a walk. I think that's it. Ah. <laughs> you being goofy? <laughs> He's such a goofy guy. So I want to get this pasta sauce going. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I apologize for the racket. Paul is going to town on his toys on the floor. I'm hoping he gives me like five more minutes so that I can do this real fast. So I have these two onions from my Misfit Produce box that I did not go in the freezer with all my other onions, so I really want to use them up. Okay, so I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just getting these in my pan with some garlic and then my canned tomato products. Toma whole tomatoes, tomato sauce, tomato paste, and then, what am I doing? And then I just let it kind of sit there all afternoon, and then I take my immersion blender to it later, because I like my sauce to be pretty, um, smooth. I don't really like super chunky, so that's what I'm going for. So like I said, I'm not too concerned with how I'm chopping this onion right now because it's just going to get completely blitzed down anyway. And this is the exact same sauce that I made for a freezer meal video that I did. Also, just going to hit this with a little olive oil too. I forgot. My garlic has seen such better days, but we got so much garlic in our CSA this summer and I could not keep up with it. So they kind of look a little funky, but another reason why I want to use them up. So again, I'm not really clearly not making them that skinny because and you guys, this is nothing fancy. I'm just hitting this with some salt and pepper. I do this roughly the same every time, but not always. Like for example, <laughs> I have just a smidge of this white wine from a risotto I made a couple weeks ago, and I just want it out of my fridge, so I'm adding that here. Is that traditional to spaghetti sauce? Probably not, but. And if also you're wondering why I'm using such a big pot, I'm going to make zoodles which are zucchini noodles, and I'm just gonna throw this all in this one pot here. So I just wanna make sure that I had room. And I'm going to first add tomato paste. And the way I do tomato paste is I actually cut both ends and just push it out. It's 
a little messy, but I just take the can, so I cut it on both sides, and then I literally just push the whole thing out. It still is a messy job, but I can get most of it out, it. and then just that little lid. And then since that tomato paste is kind of thick, I just kind of mix this around until that tomato paste is kind of broken up a little bit. And this is right now about two o'clock. We're gonna eat dinner at like six, probably. So I am in no way, shape, or form worried about that wine burning off, because this is gonna sit here on the stove on low and just bubble away. I'm also adding here um, just a half a mason jar of homemade beef broth that I had just kind of hanging around, and I just kind of want to get rid of it, so I'm just putting that in here. Then I'm just adding a whole can of tomato sauce. It's not focusing, but that's tomato sauce. Trying to go fast, Paul. And then this is a messy job, but this is a can of whole tomatoes, so I am just going to squeeze them with my hands over the pot just to kind of get them open and it kind of goes all over the place so oh my god I just cleaned my stove this morning and I just got tomato guts everywhere one more thing before we leave this alone I'm going to add I just make my life easy and use Italian seasoning so I'm gonna add probably a good for this pot probably a good like tablespoon I'm not even kidding and then I'll add a little bit more when it's done and I've blended it just how I like it. I'll taste it. Okay. So again, it is two o'clock. I am just going to let this sit here on low for like at least two hours, I would say. And I will keep the pot like this, or you can put one of those splatter screens on it, but I don't want too much to evaporate. So I'm just going to do my pot kind of askew a little bit. So I'll show you what this looks like when it's been a few hours. It is much later in the day. I've been doing laundry all day and I feel like I still haven't made a dent, but it's fine, it's fine. Also, one of my butcher boxes came today and it literally is like the third, a third the amount of the stuff I was expecting. So I wrote them an email and I literally sat there and marked all the things that I was missing, including my turkey. So I was kind of freaking out a little bit. So they didn't email me back but then I got a notice a few hours later that part of my shipment was delayed. So I'm guessing there's multiple boxes. That's my only thing, my only gripe about ButcherBox is their website is not very good. It's kind of difficult to see if you have multiple shipments or one shipment. So hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. Otherwise I'm gonna have to be on back and forth emails with them, which I have done before, but I still think it's worth it. So. My sauce has been sitting here, it's now 4.45, so it's been sitting here for about almost three hours. It smells amazing, it's bubbling a little bit, so I'm gonna take my immersion blender and blend it up, and then I'm gonna pull some of it out, because we're not gonna eat all of it tonight with the zucchini. So, let me show you what it looks like. Okay. So again, like three hours later, you can see there's still big chunks, but it's really thick and delicious. So you can see it's like nice and thick and delicious. There's a couple chunks of onion in there, but that doesn't bother me. So I feel like it just needs a little something. So I'm gonna hit it with, again, this is about two jars worth. I'm gonna hit it with some more basil and it's a little more acidic than I like. So I'm actually going to, now this sounds a little weird. I'm gonna add a little sugar. What I could have done is added some carrots to this and let it you know, cook through the whole time and then blend it up and that would have been enough sweetness, but I forgot. And I mean, just barely, like, this is two jars, so probably like a teaspoon of sugar is more than enough. Stealing it from Matt's coffee sugar, because I literally just need just a little bit, like that much. And then this is done. So Matt is gonna be home any minute now, and we are gonna take Paul and Mo for a short walk because it's supposed to rain here and be gross the next few days. And after that butcher box, fiasco my anxiety like spiked so I need I need a break so we're gonna go for a walk dinner's gonna be super easy I'll show you the tool I use to make zoodles I literally just put them in here and within seconds it's done so I'm just gonna reheat some Italian bread we had the other day slices and I think we're gonna have a salad and dinner's ready okay you guys so I totally forgot to 
good meat in here. So I'm going to put in some of these Italian style meatballs and just let them kind of simmer on low for like 20 minutes till they basically thaw out. They're totally cooked. And then I'm gonna have my